In this video, we're going to discuss a couple basic ways of how to combine two series to make a new series. Suppose we start with two sequences, n equal 1 to infinity of a sub n and n equal 1 to infinity of b sub n. And both of these sequences are known to be convergent. Uh, this is actually an important distinction as what we're about to do only apply to convergent series. So if we have these two convergent series, we can form a new series by taking the sum from n equal 1 to infinity of the term a n plus b n or a n minus b n. In other words, we're going to take the, the series terms for our two series and add or subtract them together. If we do this, as long as the two initial series are convergent, then this new series will simply equal the series n equal 1 to infinity of a sub n plus or minus the series from n equal 1 to infinity of b sub n. Also, if we take our series with the term a sub n, and multiply every term in our series by some non-zero constant c, then the series n equal 1 to infinity of c times a sub n will equal c times the original series, n equal 1 to infinity of a sub n. These two properties can be used in two different ways. First, we can use them to break down a more complicated series into the sum, difference, and scalar multiple of simpler series. Uh, this would be replacing the expressions on the left-hand side of each of these equations with the expressions on the right-hand side. The second way that these properties can be used is by combining series together by adding, subtracting, or multiplying by constants uh, to form new series that might be applied to whatever situation we're working on. In this example, we're told that the series from n equal 1 to infinity of a sub n converges to 3, and the series from n equal 1 to infinity of b sub n converges to negative 4. We'd like to use these two values to find the exact value of the series from n equal 1 to infinity of a sub n plus 2 b sub n. So what we observe here is that the series that we want to determine the uh, value for is formed by the series a n and b n using addition and scalar multiplication. And so we can break this up using the properties that we just discussed. First, since we have a sum, we can rewrite this series as the series from n equal 1 to infinity of a sub n plus the series from n equal 1 to infinity of 2 times b sub n. We can then rewrite our second series uh, by, by bringing the 2 outside of the summation using the second property that we discussed. So this would equal 2 times the series n equal 1 to infinity of b sub n. And so here we've used the first property to split up the series into two, the sum of two series, and then the second property to write our second series as 2 times the series with term b sub n. We can now use the given values the series from n equal 1 to infinity of a sub n is equal to 3, and the series from n equal 1 to infinity of b sub n is negative 4. And so we have 3 plus 2 times negative 4, uh, which is 3 minus 8. And so here we get a, an exact value for our series of negative 5. If you'd like to try a similar example, you can pause the video and try to find the exact value of the sum n equal 1 to infinity of 3a sub n minus 5b sub n. Notice that we're using the same series from the previous example. You can resume the video, and in a few seconds, the full solution will appear. We can first write our series as the difference of two series, um, n equal 1 to infinity of 3a sub n, minus the series n equal 1 to infinity of 5 b sub n. We can then bring out the 3 and 5 outside of each of the summations, and then replace each of the original convergent series with the given values. When we do that and perform the arithmetic, we end up with an exact value for our series of 29. In this example, we want to find the exact value of the series from n equal 1 to infinity of 3 to the n minus 1, plus 5 to the n minus 1, 
all over 11 to the n minus 1. In quickly looking at the term for this series, we might initially think that we'll be able to rewrite this as a geometric series and then use the formula a over 1 minus r in order to find this value. However, by playing around with the term here, you'll quickly find that you're unable to rewrite this as a single term to the n minus first power. And so our strategy here will actually be able to break this up into the sum of two different series, which are in turn geometric series, and then we can apply the geometric series formula to each of those simpler series. So we will start with our given series, n equal 1 to infinity of 3 to the n minus 1 plus 5 to the n minus 1 over 11 to the n minus 1. And we will break this up across that sum in our numerator. And so we're going to have the sum from n equal 1 to infinity of 3 to the n minus 1 over 11 to the n minus 1 plus 5 to the n minus 1 over 11 to the n minus 1. And now we can see that this term for our series is the sum of two different terms. So we can split this up into two series. Sum n equal 1 to infinity of 3 elevenths to the n minus first power. We go ahead and combine with properties of exponents since the exponents for 3 and 11 are the same. And similarly, we get to add to that the sum from n equal 1 to infinity of 5 to the elevenths, 5 elevenths to the n minus first power. And so now we have the sum of two different series. We can look at these uh, two series and we notice that both of them are convergent geometric series. Um, in this case, the ratios are 3 elevenths and 5 elevenths, respectively, and each of those has an absolute value less than 1, and so we know both of these series converge. We also know that the initial term in both cases is 1, since there's no number multiplying each uh, 3 elevenths or 5 to the 5 elevenths to the n minus first power. And so we can use the geometric series sum formula for each of these separately. We know the first series will be 1 over 1 minus the ratio 3 elevenths. And we know the second will be 1 over 1 minus the ratio of 5 elevenths. At this point, uh, this is just a, an arithmetic problem. Uh, so we're going to have 1 over 8 elevenths plus 1 over 6 elevenths, which will be 11 eighths plus 11 sixths. And we can add those together um, and quickly get 77 20 fourths. So the exact value for our series is 77 over 24. If you'd like to try a similar example, pause the video and find the exact value of the series from n equal 1 to infinity of 1 minus 4 to the n minus 1 all over 5 to the n minus 1. Resume the video, and in a few seconds, you'll see the full solution. We rewrite our series term as the difference of two terms using the subtraction in the numerator. So we have the series with term 1 over 5 to the n minus 1, minus 4 to the n minus 1 over 5 to the n minus 1. We can break this up as the difference of two series, where the terms are 1 fifth to the n minus 1 and 4 fifths to the n minus 1. These are both convergent geometric series with ratios 1 fifth and 4 fifths, respectively, having an absolute value less than 1. And therefore, we can use our geometric series sum formula. The first series will sum to 1 over 1 minus 1 fifth, and the second series will converge to 1 over 1 minus 4 fifths. We do the arithmetic and we obtain 5 fourths minus 5, which is negative 15 fourths. So the exact value for our given series is negative 15 fourths.